Zahair used to work in the industry. What did you do with meat that was past its best before date? He gears up to give us a demo. Something like this, they would take um, the dip it in blood, just dab it a little bit. Yeah, so just dab it like that. And then as you can see, it looks a lot redder. That's what you would do, you would take the brown meat and turn it red? Yeah, so we would turn it red. And then if, if like, again, we do it as many times as possible, we just keep flipping it. We would rewrap them and put down a new sticker, which came with a new best before date that extended the shelf life. And you won't look at ground beef the same when you hear this. If it's really bad, if it's like this, we would um, dabble in a little bit of blood, throw it into the meat mincer with some redder meats, and then all together it would make it look red. And then we put it back up on the shelf. And people would buy this? Yeah, yeah, all the time. Sounds misleading, but food safety expert Keith Warner helps us recreate what we've heard is going on with meat. We mix meat that's four days past its best before date with new. How's, how's it smell? I'll let you do the honors. <laughs> Not too good. Not too good. Turn it on. So how's this new blend look? It looks totally fresh. It's well disguised. Yeah, that looks good. But could it be bad for you? We send it off for testing. I'm curious how it tested. So what we found was the meat was absolutely loaded with bacteria after only one day. It was loaded with these type of bacteria called Enterobacteriaceae. And what they do is, is that these can break down the meat proteins to make something called biogenic amines, which are toxic chemicals, which can cause asthma, mood changes, all sorts. People who bought that meat wouldn't know that it was spoiled because it had been mixed up with the good-looking meat. Exactly, it was deception at its worst, isn't it? Totally unethical. And in this case, I think it goes beyond ethics, doesn't it? It goes to safety and things like that. Zahir has experience working in the grocery biz. Like others we hear from, he says mixing old meat with new happened all the time. Who told you to do this? So the, the butcher and my supervisor, or a lot of times he'd bring it in for me. He'd bring in like a stack of like, like meats that were brown, slam them on the table and be like, Zahir, unwrap these and relabel them and stack them back up on the shelves. So what advice does he wish he could have given his customers? Don't buy from the front of the shelves. Reach on behind, grab the stuff in the back. That stuff is usually a little newer. There's a secret reason some stores are adding sauces and spices to meats. We've got some marinated drumsticks here. Why is stuff marinated? Uh, things get marinated if it's, if it's going off or it is off. They will marinate it to hide the odor. And if there are any dark spots or, or whatever, to mask that and then put it out for sale. And things that are marinated actually sell for more. You charge more for yeah. stuff that has gone past its best before date. Yes, it was referred to as value added. So because you're adding something to it, it increases the price. So in our store, things like steaks, strip loin steaks, they were going off, they were expired essentially, would be coated in, in some sort of barbecue marinade or cracked pepper, something with a really strong odor to hide the rotten smell. What was the reason given for doing this? It's all about profit and money, and the health of the consumer is not really a concern. It's how much money I can make. With almost 10 years experience in the biz, this insider's got a tip for the next time you're out shopping for meat. I would not buy pre-marinated meat or pre-spiced meat in grocery stores because you don't know what has happened to it. It could also be expired product. Misleading people about best before dates is illegal. There are industry standards for best before dates. Stores are supposed to self-police, so there's no way of knowing how widespread these practices are.